Hello, welcome to another episode on Behind the Sounds. This is Sounds and Hope Channel, a channel where we churn out useful sounds on hope in the form of songs, stories, interviews, and many more. Come along with us. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please click on the red subscribe button and like our videos, share our songs and videos, stories, and also please leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you think about our videos and how they relate or resonate with you. Thank you. Behind the Sounds is a series on songs and I mean stories behind songs that we bring to our channel, to our viewers and even beyond the ones we bring, other songs, Christian songs, songs on hope. Inspiration behind the songs is what we bring, we aim to um, talk to you about on Behind the Sounds. Today's episode on Behind the Sounds will focus on It Is Well. It Is Well is a popular hymn written by Rashid G. Spafford in 1873. This is a popular Christian hymn that is sung from time to time and it was written by him after some events that happened in his life and with his family. Mrs. Bafford had five children. He had four daughters and a son. And he was also a successful businessman and real estate investor. He was a successful lawyer and attorney at the time. But in 1871, he lost his only son to scarlet fever or pneumonia. And uh, this really got him into grief. Later on that year, he also lost a huge part of his business to the great Chicago fire. In 1873, he decided to go on a vacation with his family, the rest of his family. This was a planned vacation. He wanted to visit um, D.L. Moody and his friend on an evangelistic mission and then go on, head on to vacation with his wife and children but then something came up business came up that he had to attend to urgently and he couldn't go with them while the wife and four daughters traveled in on sea uh, at some point their ship eats an iron sailing vessel and on the fourth day when they were traveling and within 12 minutes the ship began to sink and um, it, it went under the dark waters of the Atlantic as we were crossing the Atlantic from United States to Europe. That led to the loss of 226 lives, including the four daughters of Mr. Spafford. Those were the only children left, remember? And it was only his wife that was left along order for the six survivors. She was barely conscious and um, she had to eventually send, send her when they were rescued by another large vessel. She sent a telegram to her husband letting him know that she only was saved, I mean, in the family. Saved alone and then she didn't know what to do. Meanwhile, before the ship gave way, she called her daughters to the deck of the ship and they were praying, hoping for the best, praying to God for his intervention to save them from what was about to happen or give them the strength and the courage to endure whatever lies ahead and um, they trusted in God at the time but then that happened and a pastor that was on that same ship said later on that the woman mentioned said something about God gave them four daughters and she lost all of them that she was going to understand later, you know, by and by, why. And um, by the time she sent this telegram to the husband, letting him know that the family was lost in the shipwreck except her, the husband took the next sail, you know, I 
available to go rejoin the wife. While they were sailing, the captain showed him the point where the um, sea gave way and told the man he believed this is where the ship wrecked. And um, he could only say it is well. You know, it was tough for him. He couldn't sleep that night. You know, he said it is well. The will of the Lord be done. And we believed it was in this journey that he brought out his song, It Is Well. And you know, prior years, prior up until this time, he's been faced with a lot of things in his life. And these words flowed. And from the lyrics, you could see how, how comfort flows in times of pain, in our pain, in our certain circumstances that we uh, go through in life. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, Thou hast taught me to know It is well, it is well with my soul What are the lessons we learn from this? The lessons are First, he did not, they did not confess negative There was no record of that, you know they were they kept being positive hopeful and yes god even later blessed them in life you know um at some point before the shipwreck there was um the, the, his business boomed again but then after the shipwreck he also at some point you know he had more children and then the story went on they trusted god through all this that they were going through you know they you could see the words that they knew God and they trusted him with their lives they knew there is a life beyond now there is eternity and they sounded like they were their eternity was secure like they, they they knew God who had gone to prepare a place for them where there will be no more pain where there will be no more sorrow where there will be joy forevermore they understood that life was temporary and they were going to a better place in the end of life. Um, the melody was written by Philip Bliss and this is mostly about the story of um, it as well. Other lessons are that we should lay our treasures in heaven. Don't be distracted with the circumstances, the things that we face here on earth because heaven is the ultimate and we are going to go to heaven one day. Also, we saw that the man was used by God in spite of what he was going through to pen down a song that for centuries later we are comforted with. That means God can use us even when we are going through situations, if we let him, you know, he can use us to encourage others that will in the future be going through similar situations or even worse. And, you know, God can use us to even comfort those who are presently going through some of those things. And that is why it is very important that we release ourselves to God. And we should allow our challenges to draw us closer to God, not away from Him. Because there was never a record of this family that is stopped trusting God. They held firm to God. Because in this life, we would have so troubles. The Bible has said this. The Bible says, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I hope you have learned one or two things on this episode of Behind the Sounds. Please like this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so and share this with your friends. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know 
one what you learned from this story from this song how the song has blessed you in the past who you know the song has blessed and how god has how it resonates with you generally thank you so much for joining me on another episode of behind the sounds i'm going to see you later in the next episode and until then take care of yourself keep safe thank you bye